Hi, and welcome to Mega Graphics Studio. And this is your host. I'm just kidding. Uh, how you like that introduction, huh? I, I'm sorry I've been away for a while uh, from this, uh, this channel. I haven't posted something in a while. It's because I've been kind of busy with uh, a lot of things lately. Actually, I've gotten um, more into uh, the word Bible study uh, in regards with uh, seeking uh, Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian, and I've been uh, pretty much having a lot of things in my mind lately, plus some other things uh, outside the home. Uh, y you know, gardening is coming up real soon, so I'm excited about that. And, yeah, uh, it's just, and, and with school, I'm about to finish school, by the way. Uh, after three years of study, I'm uh, hopefully to get my bachelor's pretty soon. Yay! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm working on a portfolio, and I still have, like, some new videos of some new works I like to put up uh, to show you guys. Um because that's what my, mainly what this uh, channel is about is you know showing my work and uh, talking about basically art and design and about jobs uh, let's see what else uh, all about tutorials and I said I was going to t do tutorials of because I've been really neglected of that and I've been wanting to because the tutorials help me too and uh, so that way uh, the videos are there and you can always go back to them and see them watch it once they're fresh in my mind but you know once you're like a graphic designer and start working uh, you get pretty much uh, into using these programs and have good knowledge about how uh, programs work like Photoshop, Illustrator InDesign, Quark Express, uh, oh, did I forget anything? Um, Dreamweaver, Flash, uh, Maya, a 3D Maya, uh, and to uh, see what else. I used to use a little 3D program called Bryce. You know, I might have something on that, you know, maybe in the future. Um, I think I've named, oh yes, yeah, some Premiere. Uh, I got a, a new uh, movie uh, editing program called Premiere from uh, Adobe, which I like very much. And so I'll be using that. And that's just basically it. Okay, what you're seeing here is that um, I made these Google Doodles because they're interesting to look at, and some of them have, uh, I believe, I've, well, I wanted to show you as um, you know I go on here with a slideshow about some of the the things the messages that some Christians that I have been listening to and said that there are like certain messages in the, these Google Doodles and I think well really what they've been shown so uh, I want to get started on this so this is the first one New Year's Day you can see like here to decide what they are the names of these doodles. So this represents a New Year's Day 2012. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm starting out uh, the beginning of the year, what's happened so far. Okay, and there's your New Year's Day one. Uh, interesting. With uh, th There's got quite a bit to show you, so I want to go to the more important ones. So, let's see. I don't see anything uh, different here, so I'm just going to move on. Okay, and this is uh, Holidays 2011. This was reposted from, I think it was around Christmas time. So, there's your Christmas one. Christmas isn't a really a uh, Christian holiday, you know, by the way. So, uh, it was just a, a holiday made up uh, back in the time of uh, 
Constantine, the Emperor Constantine, uh, where he used the holiday uh, as a as a way of celebrating the other holiday called Centronalia. Yeah, and so to enable the, the Christians at that time to to celebrate he in some way incorporated Christian beliefs into the Saturnalia beliefs which is, is very you've got to look that up anyway um, on the on the internet just type in Christmas and uh, Saturnalia and see what you get okay this is Oscar uh, Lutz 125th birthday I don't think I've heard of him but there's the Google for it. There's something different about this globe. This globe looks like it's where the water is supposed to be blue. It looks red. Why would they paint this red? You know, and then brown for the, the continents. Okay, That's the only thing I see different about that. Okay, now the Christian who mentioned this uh, about the Charles Adams one 100th birthday, uh, they mentioned something about the guillotine, the the tree, in right in the center of this guillotine here, that looked like a cross, okay, the shape of a cross, and a guillotine. So uh, they were wondering if that had to do with uh, cutting the heads off for Christians. And the uh, the mouse on top of Uncle Fester's head, uh, could that mean something that's like it's related to plague, a uh, symbol of plague or something? Uh, uh, I think there was I can't remember what else that they said, but I think that was the main thing. Uh, it was um, that they had bought up. Uh, Louis Coloma's 161 uh, 61st, oh, 61st birthday, excuse me. Yeah, some of these I, I don't even know who that have a clue what they are. Uh, but this is in, in this shape right here looks kind of like a some kind of a spaceship and and this what is this a mouse? Very interesting. I don't know what this is. And then this looks like a tooth. Okay, any ideas for that? I don't know. Uh, Nicholas Steno's 374th birthday. Uh, that's interesting. The uh, different levels of the uh, of the Earth. So I think I figure he was like a a geologist. National Children's Day. Okay, you have the sun and the moon there. And the children. Uh, a jester. Oh, that's interesting. Taiwan's election. 2012. Teacher's Day. An owl. Bohemian Grove, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I know you have to ignore me. This is kind of boring, but uh, I I like any I like doodles. I like art, so I just like looking at these. Dr. Martin Luther King's uh, day. This is I have a dream. My little children will not be judged by the color of their skin. I have a dream today we shall overcome Saturday. SOPA Pippa we all know that censoring the internet. Havoc in Heaven mm. now that name it's to me, it's uh, this is the the year of uh, 
things going on in heaven, about the signs in heaven. So this might be uh, something subliminal to tell us that there are things going on in heaven. So keep looking up in that sky. Okay. Omar Reyes, 84th birthday. I like this one. I like the design of this. It's very nice. Uh, Federico Fellini's 92nd birthday. He's uh, from Italy. Uh, that's really nice. It's a nice Google doodle. Uh, it looks like he has a film camera, so he was probably a, a filmmaker. Yeah. Grandparents' Day. Oh, that's cute. Chinese New Year. Yeah, this is the year of the dragon, you guys. So this is a a significant one uh, as to the dragon, and when you. Uh, look at uh, the Bible of Revelation it speaks of the dragon which is Satan so there's some interesting things that may be coming uh, I guess you would say manifest are coming to pass this year before the beginning of sorrows 2013 uh, Joe's uh, picnics, uh, if I pronounce that right, is 114. 40th birthday. It's an interesting uh, doodle. Vladimir uh, v Vysotsky. Excuse my pronunciation again. 74th birthday. Very, very nice uh, doodle. Republic Day. This must be India. India. With the elephants along. Doodle for Google 2012. Australia winner. That's nice, Google. Very illustrative. Very nice. 125th anniversary of the largest snowflake. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Little cow in the snowy fields. Very cute. I L uh, Cara G Gialli, uh, 160th birthday. Excuse my massacring of that name. I have no idea who this person is. There's a letter here, so is that means he's a writer. Discovery of the uh, I Iguacu Falls. Um, I, can't, I can't remember that the discoverer's name. Um, I don't know because I don't have a reference here, so I don't know. So that's an interesting illustration. Now I'm not going to try to even pronounce that as you can see on the screen so I'll just leave it at that and I think it's like a Mexican design you know it's very nice uh, Francisca's uh, Tufot True Trifot excuse me I don't know if I pronounced that or not is a don't even try <laughs> 80th birthday, very nice. The Lantern Festival. Uh, Charles Dickens, 200th birthday. And that's very nice. That's a Japanese uh, screen. Uh, New Zealand. Uh, Anna uh, Pavlova, she must have been a ballerina, 
That's right, nice. I'm at the end. Okay.